to stayvg.shop today to get official merchandise from Honey the Unicorn plushies, puffballs, sign posters, and more. Link down below. Hello, legendary humans. It's me, Honey the Unicorn, and today I'm going to be doing something really awesome. Today we're going to go over five things that traders and a dummy absolutely hate because I'm telling you, there's some things as a trader that I just can't stand. So we're going to go over the five things that we hate the most about trading in a dummy. But before we get into this video, legendary humans, do not forget to smash that like button if you're excited about this. And then let me know in the comments what you hate the most about trading in a dummy. Like what situation is the worst for you? And don't forget to subscribe and turn on all notifications so you never miss any of my videos. Now let's get into this top five list. Okay, Megan, I recruited you here for a reason, and you're probably wondering why. Yeah, tell me why. Well, you know, we've traded a billion times in Adopt Me, right? Like a trillion times. Yeah, like so many trades. Like every single day I make at least a few trades. Oh, yeah, and we've encountered a billion problems probably, right? Oh, for sure. I, I could count them all on one hand. Probably five of them at least. Oh, wow. Well, I, I, yeah, there's definitely at least a top five things that is really difficult about trading. So today, I thought me and you would go over some of the worst things that can happen when you're trading in Adopt Me. Ooh, that sounds really fun. And then maybe we can spread awareness so that maybe if, uh, you know, people can relate to it, then they know they're not the only one struggling with the problem. Yeah, because this is a big problem. Now, if you do any of these five things, we're not saying you're a problem, but maybe think twice before you do these things because they're so frustrating. Okay, so Megan, follow me because I'm taking you to my special trading location. Ooh, where's that? Oh, you'll see. Here we are, my special trading location. Oh, just outside of your house? Well, just because I wanted to flex my 90-day login streak. Woo -woo. Mm, that is pretty substantial. That's almost 100. Only 10 more days. That means in January, I'm going to hit over 100 days. That's awesome. I'm so excited for you, honey. The big countdown starts now. Woo -woo. Okay, so now let's do the first trading situation. This first example is when someone extends the trading timer by, uh, well, let me just show you how they could do it. Now, let me just make you an offer real quick. Actually, you make me an offer. Give me your best offer. Okay, my best offer. How about an Arctic reindeer? Maybe, just maybe, ooh, a giraffe. Whoa, Look at flying that. and riding? Okay, I got the offer for you. Oh, whoa, a flying, whoa, okay, this is a great offer. Okay, well, maybe I'll offer you this, and then maybe I'll offer you that, and then maybe this. And then maybe I'll even throw in one of these. You excited about this trade, Megan? Yeah, I'm super excited about it. We got four, three seconds left to like click accept. Oh, well, you know what? I, I don't think I want to trade oh. uh, that one anymore. It's because you oh. seem really excited, so. Oh. I just okay. think I'm going to, you know, not trade that one. Okay, I'm going to click accept now. Okay, you know what? You, you still seem pretty eager, so I'm gonna just take this one away. Yeah, that's still a good offer. Trust me. I'm a trade a trusted trader. That is not a good offer. This is a great offer. Okay, okay. I'll make you a final offer. Uh, this one for all of those. You know what? Hold on. Actually, one second. That might be kind of unfair, you know, maybe to me. Uh, you know, so I think, you know, I'm just gonna make you an offer. You know, there we go. Now that this is a good offer. That's such a bad offer. No, this is a good offer. Oh, no, I hate it's that. It's a great offer. Here, watch, I'm watch. Declining. Oh, wow. Okay, so as you guys can clearly see, that's the situation that you've probably come across a million times, where you make a really good trade offer, and then they make a good offer, but slowly remove stuff, just extending the timer, which is so annoying. It's like the 10 second countdown, and then it's like, boom. Uh, 10 seconds again. Boom. 10 seconds again. It's almost like they're willing to see how low you'll go for the item. So if somebody does that to you, I recommend just clicking decline to let them know you're not there for the funny business. Yeah, as soon as that 10 second timer's done and I think that that's a good offer and then they start removing stuff, I decline the trade instantly because they're just messing around. Okay, Megan, let's go to my next secret trading spot for this next trade. Ooh, I can't wait to see where you take me. You always take me to the fanciest locations, honey. Oh, it's a top secret trading spot for sure. Ooh, ooh, are we gonna go nope, to the Nope, here we car? are. We're here. Oh, okay. 
Okay, so this next trading situation is when someone gives you a bad offer when you're offering them something fantastic. Let me show you an example. So offer me one really good pet. Whoa, a flying neon rideable unicorn. Probably one of the most rarest pets in the entire game or most sought after at least. Well, here you go. No, I'm not accepting a sandwich. Come this on. is a joke. This is a good trade. The sandwich comes from a very good place. Uh, it's a deli in New York. No, decline. That's got to be a joke. You kidding me? I mean, it would only be acceptable if you were completely new to the game. But the fact that, you know, I can see that you're Honey the Unicorn and maybe if you have, like, some other pets out, I know that you're not new to the game and I know that that's a bad trade and you're just trying to make a joke out of me. Yeah, that is definitely not a good trade. And that happens all the time. I'll see people running around with pets and they'll have all these decent things. And then when I make them a good offer, they offer me a sandwich or a turkey leg or hot dog or something that I don't want. <sighs> well, at least, you know, you have the power to decline. And maybe you wasted a little bit of your time, but it's still just not fun. Yep, let's move to number three on the list. And for this, we're going to have to go to another secret location. But you're going to need at least a flying type of vehicle. Oh, okay. Let's kick it. Come with me and you'll see a world of pure imagination. We're going to the castle. You know, if you can't reach this place with a flying animal, you can always take the hot air balloon boat. Yeah, but this is faster. This is faster because you don't have to wait the time limit for everyone to hop on. Okay, so this is our next secret location. And this trade... I want to go over when someone, you know, maybe acts poor. Oh, that's a lot. So, say you see someone earlier running around, maybe with a frost dragon out, and they're just having a great time. But then they see you with maybe uh, a dragon. Yep, here's my dragon. Okay, so I see you. I'm acting poor, so I have this frost dragon. I don't want you to know. I'm going to put it back, and then I'm going to go grab my most common pet and set that out there. And then I'm going to approach you and be like, I'm poor, please help. And then Aww. I send you a trade request. Oh, okay. I guess I could help out the poor. Uh, I have a few extra pets. Let's see. I don't want to give anything too cool, but, you know, maybe I can give them like a red panda. And maybe just because I'm feeling very generous, a bumblebee. Now, this poor person isn't actually poor. They just want you to give them good legendary pets. So they're going to see this offer of two ultra rares, and they're going to be like, anything legendary? I'm poor. And that's when I say, wow, way to be ungrateful. I decline the trade. Yep, that's what you should do in that situation, because most likely most of those people aren't poor, and they're just trying to take advantage of your kindness. Now, if you truly do see a noob, and you know they're a noob, then maybe you can help them out with a common pet, but they would be grateful for that because they truly would have nothing. So if people aren't grateful for rares or uncommons or Especially ultra rares. ultra rares and they're asking for more. Like, let me share this one experience that I had. This actually happened to me and I caught it in video. This girl, she was being bullied by another girl. The girl was like, you are dumb. I am not going to trade you my bear for your bear dog because the dog was common and the bear was a little bit more you know rare and i felt bad so i was like oh i'll give this girl a bear why not i have plenty of bears so i'll just you know give her a little gift and then i try to treat her the bear and she cancels it and she was like bear that's riding while trying to offer me a common dog and i was like wow that's kind of ungrateful because this would have been a really great trade so i just i just gave her the bear anyway and i walked away Wow, see, you're nice, but there's a lot of, like, I guess, scammers out here in Adopt Me, and you know what? That's my next point. Scammers in trading. And you know what I'm talking about? You want me to show you? Yes, show me. So they offer you a trade. Now, maybe they'll come in with waiting for you to offer them something, but maybe you've seen that they have legendary items out or something like that. I'm offering a bumblebee. Okay, and you're offering a flyable, rideable, ultra rare pet. And you have to pay to even get this pet, so it's pretty valuable. Now, they might type, I pay you 100 Robux. You send pet now. <gasps> no! Now, this is a very classic way to scam. They want you to accept this trade first, and then giving them the pet, and then they say they're going to send you Robux later. It's against Roblox's terms of service to pay for in-game items 
through Robux, through groups, or anything like that. It is against the terms of service in Adopt Me to do trades outside of the trading box. You do not want to do any of these because that's how you'll get scammed. Because I guarantee you, a scammer will not pay you the Robux for your pets after the fact. Well, yeah, all they're end up gonna do is basically take that pet, and then they're gonna log off and be gone forever, and your pet is gone. And you're never gonna see those Robux ever. Because trust me, no one's gonna pay you a thousand Robux for a pet that isn't even worth a thousand Robux. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay, Megan, this is gonna be the last thing on this list of things traders in Adopt Me hate. Well, at least things I hate by trading in Adopt Me. When they finally make you a good offer, like say we're out here talking and uh, maybe I'm like, hey, I'm trading a legendary unicorn and that made you come here and I show you that I have this legendary unicorn. But you have to make a good offer because you know that this is a good pet. I'll offer you a flyable, rideable dragon. Ooh, so it's rideable too. So this is a pretty good offer. But now at this point, this person, they don't want to give away the unicorn. They just wanted to see what the best item you had was. And now they're going to make you a different trade offer. No! Something that's not as good. And then they remove the unicorn. No, I do not like that. I wanted the unicorn. So I guess for that, I would have to offer this. See, now you tried to be fair and offer, well, this is a rare for an ultra rare pet. That's not very good. Well, now they're going to come down and even try to undercut you more. Or they'll just decline the offer in general. Basically coaxing you into a trade to see what your most valuable items are. And that's also a, a thing that scammers do, too, because they'll try to see what you have, and then if they don't have something good to trade you for it, they'll just offer you fake Robux that don't even exist. I know, or they'll have you go to their house and pay their cash register. Oh, that's another huge part. I mean, there's so many parts of trading that you have to watch out for and stuff that I don't like about it, but otherwise, trading's been a pretty good experience. I mean, I have so many new pets and vehicles and toys because of trading. But that's why you always have to pay attention to the rules and not trade with outside of the trade box and only do a trade that you're happy with. You gotta be safe. So let me know in the comments what's something you hate about trading and what number on this list was your most favorite. Like, what do you relate to the most? And do not forget to smash that like by Legendary Humans if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on all notifications so you never miss any of my videos. And until next time, have a legendary day. Goodbye.